enemies Catching felonies Hey, hey In your recipes That's right, that's right Big shout out to everybody locking in, tuning in And loving the vibes And of course, right now we have a very special guest joining us Okay, all the way from Ghana, so make sure you keep it locked in. We've got right now Big Cash, okay, ready to talk to us, speak to us about his journey, what he's been doing, and of course, all the positive vibes and energy he's bringing out there. So, of course, without further ado, you're locked into the Big Bad Station, com. So, Big Cash, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Bless up. Blessings, blessings. Every time, every time. So, of course, tell the listeners who you are and a little bit about yourself and what you do. Oh, okay. Um, my name is Big Cash, the founder and CEO of Broadway Entertainment. Broadway Entertainment is a registered company in Ghana, which we are into event management, arti- artist management, sports, and other CSR projects. That's corporate social responsibility in terms of environmental issues and health. Okay. So I'm, I'm also an activist and businessman. Wow, okay. So you've got many different titles. So for those who are locked in and, of course, haven't heard anything about you, what do you activist for and what is your business? Apart from, obviously, you spoke about there, the Broadway entertainment. So what activism do you do? Yeah, when I say activist, that means I, I always have a, a community at heart, especially my community, not only my community. Yeah. I'm talking about the whole community in Ghana. In terms of health, sanitation, even how to to help the kids, how to help the youth, and and make sure we we give them nice programs and projects so that we can keep them out of the streets. For real, you understand? Yes. So advocacy also from what we call social vices. Mm. Some some of the kids they they involve in 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 drugs, in taking some pills, pills and other stuff. You understand? Yeah. Also to make sure we something that they can relate to. Mm. Some sometimes what I would do also in direct, indirectly also you give them job to do. Okay. To engage them. Yes, yes. So that's what what I do. In terms of business also I I do facilitate a lot of uh government contract businesses and both large and and, and small. Yeah. You understand? Also, entrepreneurship to create something that uh, people can can do and, and make some some living, some some small money. Wow, for real. And so, you know, earlier you spoke about the young people out there, especially in particular Ghana. How is it going for you? Are you yeah. getting a lot of support? Are people um, supporting what you're doing? Oh, uh, let me say this way: as for support, it's difficult sometimes here to get support. Okay, but. I'm trying my best to to do what I I, I think is positive, mm. and even if I didn't get support, I believe God will bless me. Yeah, you understand. And when the whole the whole community is cool, I think all of us are cool. Yeah. So in terms of support, also some of couple of my friends around me, they say, "Oh, okay, this is what I have for you. You can." Okay, people. When, back. when it comes to like total support, it's not it's not easy. You yeah, understand? Yeah, for real, definitely. Uh, oh, the, um, the little people that I know can talk to them. Sometimes they give support. Sometimes also it's not coming. Yeah, definitely. So when it, in terms of support, we're looking at corporate people, philanthropies, businessmen and women. Anybody who believes in what we are doing, we're ready to, to, to get support. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and of course, yeah. how can people, if they wanted to, you know, they're locked in now, how can they, you know, f- support you or follow you? How can that happen? Okay. Uh, if, if you want to support what we are doing, we, 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 we drop our phone number or email. You can email us, contact us, yeah. so that whatever you want to do for to also to support in your own small way, we can take it from there. Okay, okay. Yes. So, tell us uh, the email address. Tell us, tell us it so we can put it out there on the social media platforms. The, the email address is f is fatalkash 
at uh, gmail.com fatal cash at gmail.com f-a-t-a-h-u-c-a-s-h at gmail.com fatal cash okay and the telephone number is plus two three three two four 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 two three three nine four okay. plus two two three two four 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 two three three nine four okay okay yes. definitely i'm gonna put that out on my social media as well so you know yes, yes. earlier on you mentioned broadway entertainment okay how did that start up how did that all begin why did you want to start that particular thing up oh okay broadway entertainment is a company official like i said registered in 2014 yes. which um we've been we've been doing a lot of things uh, since 2010 but not registered but it's, it's registered in 2014 Okay. during the cholera outbreak in ghana so like the way uh covid just break yeah in 2014 there is a cholera outbreak in ghana okay. massive people are dying mm. it's kind of like big challenge to to the government that yeah. time the former administration uh the former president uh john dramani mahama mm. so uh in in my own capacity small way i feel like no we need to support the the government or we need to support to to make sure we we cure this cholera outbreak yeah so the, the, then that minister of uh, local government and rural development is in charge of sanitation okay so it was a challenge to him so he's trying to put up a program so that he can advocate and it's difficult quickly i paid him a visit and i told him that broadway entertainment can support in this so what we do is we use music and art Mm. you understand yeah to uh, as a tool to 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 educate the people how they're gonna clean their environment how they're gonna stay healthy yeah. you understand so they, they they accept the proposal and we agree together and we launch the campaign so i tour with many many artists musicians footballers All the in all the region in Ghana, we toured whole region. That's ten regions, and now sixteen regions. Wow! Wow! So, yes. Wow! So we did it for for two years. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and 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 the and the and the and the and the cholera thing came came down. Yeah. You understand? Wow! So it's that is the one thing that Broadway we did, and I'm I'm proud up to today. Yeah, definitely. When I, have, when I have another opportunity, I will support for this. Uh, COVID also okay. to, to educate people to to share uh, ideas with them. Yeah, for real. I don't know as yeah. well. You promote tourism in Africa. You know, I don't see yeah. a lot. I don't see a lot of it. If I'm truly honest, but I'm definitely for it. I feel like the prom the promotion doesn't really happen. I know popcorn. The artist has put out there that they want a direct flight from Jamaica to Nigeria, for example, mm -hmm. and to Ghana. Mm -hmm. So, what are your thoughts about it? Do you think it can happen? Can more tourism happen in Africa? Yes, yes. Uh, Africa is, has a, lo a lot of potential for tourism, big. Yes. And uh, I, Broadway Entertainment also organized uh, 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 programs and projects which is attracting a lot of diasporans, especially from Jamaica and US yeah. and, and UK as well. Yeah. You understand? So I've been working with uh, Grams Morgan of Morgan Heritage with the Morgan family, Peter, Mojo, name them. Yeah. You understand? Also, a other artists also, our our brothers also in the diaspora from US, Boris Kujo, Taras Rally, all, all these people, I, I, I received them in Ghana. Okay. Then uh, we have a project ghana jamaica homecoming festival yeah this program is seek to to bridge gap mm. between ghana and jamaica yeah. also using jamaica as a gateway to the caribbean island and the diaspora using ghana as a gateway to west africa and africa as whole. Well. yeah then then the project is is like tourism business culture exchange music sports football athlete you name them you yeah. understand Definitely. Make sure that this project can 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 open more tourist uh, attraction to 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 Ghana and Africa as well. For real. So, do you think the government will do a direct flight from Ghana to Jamaica and vice versa? Yes, 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 yes. If we need we need to push that agenda because the last time Grams was in Ghana, 
we spoke. I told Grams, I said, yo, Grams, let's use this Ghana Jamaica Homecoming Festival to talk to Ministry of Foreign Affairs, yeah. to talk to Ministry of uh, Tourism, Art and Culture, the Ministry of Interior, that's like home affairs, you understand, in Ghana. Yeah. Then other government institutions that when it comes to migration uh, 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 laws and all these things to push this agenda. Mm -hmm. So I think he has the potential to do that. So we, we, we're working on that. Now that uh, we're trying to to let the Ghana Jamaica Homecoming Festival to to happen, we're gonna sit down with the ministry again and put that agenda. Okay. On, because we need it. Yeah. Yeah. We need we need we need the flight. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely yeah. feeling that one for real. And you know, somebody just asked me, um, a listener, what music do you enjoy? An artist that do you listen to? For me, I listen to reggae and dancehall and Afrobeat, you understand? Okay. So when it comes to reggae, I listen to a lot of artists, you yeah. understand, both in Ghana and, and in Jamaica or, or abroad. Okay. You understand? Also in dancehall, because I like Capricorn so much, Fireman. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> For real, so I definitely. Wish, I always, when, I, when, when Grams come, I told him that, I told Grams that, yo, Grams, when are we getting Capricorn in, in Ghana? Especially, I want, I want to be part of who the uh, those who is going to like make sure is is here yeah. you understand is here not just only to perform to be with us as a as a brother you understand kishango mm. big up to you okay. so gram say oh gosh don't worry as soon as we start the project definitely they they they, they all will be here so yeah. after that you can see you can see now popcorn he also is in and out in and out yeah you understand so not only popcorn but i can see but popcorn want to want to like settle down like yeah. make Ghana the, the the second home for real you understand? definitely definitely for real for real yeah so we need we need we need to do more we need to push that agenda and mm. we broadway will make sure that you push all the project to make sure that our brothers and sisters will be with us often yeah definitely agree with that and you know one thing that i like to do is push african artists in particular um is there a particular artist that you feel like the people should be listening to that's from ghana right now yeah. yes of course yes of course because in ghana we have a, a lot of talent yeah especially the upcoming artists especially we have mainstream artists like stoneboy samini yeah. uh, uh, shakawale jupiter and the rest yeah. but we have a lot of upcoming artists so I would love people to listen to uh, somebody like Jeff King. Yeah, I've, I've heard him. Yeah, man, he's good. He's, 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 he's a good artist. Big. For me, I, I see Jeff King as a, as a big artist. But, every, you know, artists sometimes, everybody has his, his own time. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But that boy, that boy <laughs> is a big talent. Because yeah. I, I remember one time me and Grant, we, we are in the car traveling uh, to uh aqua safari one of the island okay so and i put jeffrey king cd grant was sleeping in the car first track second track he wake up <laughs> he said yo cash who is this i said jeffrey king who is jeffrey king i want to see this boy so can you get him i said yes so later we came back i get jeffrey king for him wow. he met jeffrey king he said can you do one a cappella for me yeah. jeffrey king opened his mouth grant said yo yo stop stop Cash, you see this boy? He's next to Stoneboy and all the Ghana music. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm interviewing him. I'm interviewing him on Saturday, so keep it locked, man. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> that is another one. Then there is another, another, another one called Root Boy Ranking. Okay. You yeah. Understand? Root Boy Ranking also is a, is a serious talent. Wow. And Root Boy Ranking also has potential to 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 conquer the world because yeah. that is how I see it. But it, it, it's, it's time. Time yeah. will tell. Definitely. We need, to work. we need, yeah, we need to push. We need to work. We need to support. Yes, definitely Understand. agree with that, hundred percent. And of course, one thing. Sorry, carry on. You carry on. Yeah, one thing I, I love, I would love to see in Ghana is we need to support these talents. Yeah. Push. You understand? Some of them even to to record to do a lot of things is is it's not easy. Mm -hmm. You understand? I know it's not easy everywhere like that, but I think. We need to we need to support the, uh, support them yeah because when when you see some of the talent you 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 say wow mm, definitely definitely yeah. agree with that 100 percent. and of course you know me being a female dj and i always support my female artists is there a female artist out there that you think that people should be checking out and locking into as well 
Definitely, definitely. There are many, many female artists. We have somebody like uh, uh, Mijay. Okay. She is on the she is on the bill right now. The show that uh, we are coming to do on Saturday, fifteenth at Nima Gorillas. Yeah. So Mijay is one of the talent also that if she get push, yo, she's gonna do. But she's half Ghanaian, half Sierra Leone. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So she do reggae, she do dance all Afro beat, hip hop, full of talent. Like yeah. she's versatile. Definitely. You understand what I'm saying? Definitely. Yes, yes, yes. We have another girl also on the bill called Rookie. Okay. Lady Rookie. Yeah. Also good artist. You understand? So they are there, so many of them. Mm, definitely agree with that. I've got Majay as well. She's going to be joining me for an interview as well very, very soon. So, yeah, man, we're keeping it locked, definitely. <laughs> and, you know, definitely. when it comes to promotion now, I know you are a promoter. I know you do lots of different works. What can you say or can you give some advice to young people that want to come into this business and do what you're doing? What advice would you give them? The advice that I have for young people who want to do this business is number one, they should, they should, they should keep pushing. Yeah. It's not easy. Don't. don't it's not easy. When I say it's not easy, I mean uh, financially, the the way the structure the the in Ghana. Let's say in Ghana here, yeah, our structure is not strong. Yeah. That is for real. You understand? Mm. Yeah, for real. So a lot of. And the system sometimes also doesn't help. Okay. You understand? So when you want to be in this business or you want to do this business, you, you, you have to be determined. You have to be focused. Yeah. You understand? There are few, there are challenges, but keep pushing. Mm. Then you are patient and keep learning. Yeah. Make sure also you you you, you wide your, your 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 network. Yeah. You understand? Because in this business, network is key. Mm. You understand? 100%. There are some things money cannot buy. Money, money cannot give it. Mm. So you use your network to to do it. You understand? Yeah. And it's an industry that is 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 a field that is, is we need we need a lot of young 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 people in it. Mm. Yes. Definitely. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So you know what? What's next for Broadway Entertainment? What can the people look forward to? And of course, tell us your social media so people can go and check you out and support you. All right. Right now, Broadway Entertainment. Well, we are what we are doing right now is we this year, twenty twenty two, the Ghana Jamaica Homecoming Festival is coming on in March. Okay. Yes, we 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 slated the 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 main event in March, which uh, we're looking at three days, Park Festival. Okay. Three days. Wow. You understand? Yeah. So we're looking at twenty fifth of March, twenty sixth, and twenty seventh. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So we, what we are doing uh, on Saturday is like uh, we we creating hype. We 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 unveiling the the Ghana Jamaica Homecoming Festival. Okay. Ghana Jamaica on Saturday on the fifteenth. That is what we are doing. Then also after then, the campaign continues for for the for the match. So we're looking at people to patronize both in and out of mm. Ghana. Yeah. You understand both. Uh, uh, Caribbean, America, UK, everywhere. We 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 look we look forward to to welcome people because the month of March is Independence Month. Yeah, that, that is Ghana's Ghana's birthday. You understand? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Ghana. Uh huh. So that's why we 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 put the the event or the festival in March, Independence March, mm. uh, uh, in the Independence Month, so that people can. Can 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 use it and 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 come to Ghana. Yeah, understand. Definitely. And also, we intended to to after Ghana, we're looking at coming bringing the uh, uh, the project in UK, the festival. Okay. Ghana, Ghana be Jamaica in UK. Yeah. That is what we are working on. Yes, we're looking at Ghana be Jamaica in UK, Ghana be Jamaica in Jamaica, and we take it all over the world. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but we are looking at bring, bringing it in UK in August or September. Okay, looking forward to that. Yes. I'm looking forward to that yes. still. <laughs> yeah, so we, we, we're looking at music, we're looking at football, we're looking at uh, 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 beach football, beach soccer with uh, Sharks uh, and, and Jamaica National beach soccer team, yeah. the Radio Boys and Black Stars. You understand? Just to 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 share yeah 
what Definitely. we have and then, then also like like when, when when you take football like this ghana is side of jamaica we played three times world cup not just play we we make a mark mm. even try to enter the, the semi-final in south africa you understand yeah uh -huh. when you take a sports athlete you you can't talk about athlete in the world you, you, you forget jamaica because they they are like leading leading for now they are like you understand so what is the secret mm. and most of by history and most of we and jamaican people we believe we were uh, like we are together we we are brothers and sisters yes yeah, definitely so so what is what is the secret what is it that jamaica is eating and, and doing <laughs> when they, they go to like uh, uh olympics game in terms of athlete they conquer yeah so we share we share all these things mm, you understand definitely where, where we can also see Ghanaian players playing uh, uh football in, in 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 jamaica with the with the clubs with the local clubs in jamaica you understand seeing jamaicans also playing here like share business you get me also the major thing that we want to push is we want to push afro dance all reggae and afro dance all okay okay you understand yeah when real. i say afro dance all i mean where you see people sing in the in their local language mm. with, the, with the rhythm of dance all or with the rhythm of afro beats okay you get me yeah definitely uh, so that's what we we, we, are, we are we are we are pushing right now okay i'm looking forward to this definitely and of definitely, course definitely. tell the people how we can find you on social media how we can support you once again yeah, social media, uh, broad, Broadway Entertainment Global, you see us on Instagram. Also, um, right now, we, 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 are, we are updating our Facebook and other social media handles. But for now, we are we, on, uh, how do you call it, the Instagram. Okay, okay. Broadway, then that's why I dropped my number. So if you want to get us, you get us on, on Instagram. You understand? Yeah. And then you can check us also on on Ghana Meet Jamaica, we are on Facebook, Ghana Meet Jamaica, on Facebook. You understand? Yeah, uh -huh. for real, definitely. Yes. And of course, you know... We, are, we will update all our social media and the rest, then we will put them out there. Okay, okay, got it. So, of course, you know, we're coming to the last bit of the interview, and I want you to give some final thoughts for the people out there, either w some words of wisdom, or if you just want to remind them on certain things, what would you like to say to the people and the listeners out there? All right, this is what I have for the people outside there. First of all, we, 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 we pray this uh, coronavirus pandemic, may, may God bring it down for us because it, it is affecting us. Yeah. And be, be careful out there. Follow the protocol. Don't say this, don't say that. You understand? Because you need to, you need to live to enjoy music. You need to live to enjoy food and all these things to see family and friends. You understand? So first of all, that is what I would say. Then secondly, I'm, I'm, I'm telling all uh, uh, our brothers and sisters in UK, in US, in Jamaica, in Barbados, and everywhere that they should patronize this uh, project yeah. and make sure in March they will come to Ghana and come and see something, uh, 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 something, something that is going to benefit Mm. the two countries and the two continents even the whole world you yeah, understand for real uh, also i'm telling them that we are we are we all we, we are one people yeah doesn't matter where, where you belong where you are it doesn't matter your color mm. you understand uh, we need to love each other we need to we need to bring love not hate yeah you understand we need to we need to be be be, be peaceful with each other and support each other also 100 percent say for now 100%, 100%. You know what, Big Cash, um, yes. it's very inspiring what you're doing. And of course, you have my 100%, you know, anything you want me to pass on for the people, just send it to me on WhatsApp. I'm going to be sharing it out yes. for you as well. And of course, following you. And I'm looking forward to it most definitely. And again, thank you for your time and telling us about your journey. Before, 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 before I drop. Yeah. Um, before I drop, me... Me and Grams Morgan, that's uh, Broadway Entertainment and that's Sony Entertainment. Okay. Right now, as I'm speaking with you very soon, very, very soon, yeah. we're going to we're gonna launch we, uh, the hospital project that we want to build, 80 bed capacity mother and child center okay. in Accra, suburb of Nima and Mamobi. It's a charity project. So I would love 
you and your your platform when we launch the the fundraising is going to be fundraising to build that hospital yeah so i would love for you to support us with 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 your platform to reach out people to to donate to this laudable initiative that is coming very soon yeah we're gonna do that definitely so, definitely definitely I, I would love you to 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 push this agenda so that we can we can able to to build the the, the hospital for real most definitely 100 percent, 100 percent. also use your medium also to to advocacy for for let's say businessmen investors corporate people to support ghana jamaica homecoming festival project also 100 percent. yeah yeah definitely 100 percent for that you know what i was just saying yeah. thank you for your time and talking to us about your projects definitely appreciate it every time respect anytime anytime and we'll speak again soon we'll keep the link and of course anything you want me to push out there send it to me on whatsapp and i'll be putting it out there for all real right. all right all right anytime thank you very much have a good rest of the day yeah yeah bless 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 blessings bless yes people well how inspiring very very um informative okay please do go out there and support broadway entertainment go and check it out go and see what they're up to what they've been doing definitely doing lots of positive movements out there in ghana and across the world so big shout out to him each and every time big up big up DJ Catalyst, you're cooking today. What you're cooking today? I times true. Without some reggae music, we'll do. Hey, DJ Catalyst, go and play hit music, reggae music, up full music. Jadan said that. Look, you know. Rastafari. <laughs>